I think that it's possible that MS could be the first autoimmune disease to be cured. And I think we have a chance to see this in our lifetime. I'm Steve Hauser. I'm director of the Weil Institute for Neurosciences at the University of California, San Francisco. The Institute is an umbrella organization at UCSF that links together all of the basic and clinical neurosciences. My work was focused on understanding the immune mechanisms responsible for tissue changes in MS and developing a model that more closely recapitulated those changes. For patients whose MS is just beginning today, we can be reasonably confident that they can anticipate a life free from disability. This is one of the great triumphs of modern molecular medicine. The glass is half full, we still have a long way to go, but we should also be able to sit back and take pleasure in the great progress that we've all seen. I recall my first MS therapeutics meeting in Grand Island, New York, outside of Buffalo, early 1980s. People from all over the world, everyone interested in MS therapies were invited. It was a small room and less than 40 people in attendance. Ectrams today has 9,000 participants. The enthusiasm of the academic scientists, of the industry leaders, of basic scientists, in our field has blossomed because of the progress we've made. Ectrams is really at the center of the MS discovery effort. One of the themes that I'll discuss is the possibility that we could consider cure today in people whose MS is just beginning, and that there may even be tools available to identify MS before the disease even begins. There is no career more rewarding than one in medical science. It's so much more difficult today than it was a generation ago. But the rewards are magnified. Your children, your parents will be immensely proud of you. And there's nothing more exciting than coming into work each day trying to understand why illness happens and what we can do to mitigate it. Maintaining the public's trust is at the center of our mission. In some ways, persistence and a dollop of good luck was involved. But having a community supporting the effort, having colleagues together across institutions, across artificial silos, I think has been the key to the progress we've made.